Our next guest is Barbara Weaver, known here in SL as Bebby Writer, whose official title at Clemson is Senior Consultant for Faculty Relations and Innovation. She's also adjunct, adjunct faculty for the Department of English. In her current position, she enjoys working with faculty to explore teaching with technology and designing experimental learning spaces like we just saw in the video. She teaches one class a semester to stay connected to students as they and the teaching and learning environment involve. Welcome, Barbara. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Okay. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the project? You're in the English department, so your learning goals must have been pretty different from the rest of the team. Um, yes, they were. As you mentioned, um, my primary role is uh, in Clemson's IT organization, my home department, where I serve as a faculty advocate um, and really explore with the faculty innovative and pedagogically effective uses of new technology and sometimes um, new uses of existing technology. Uh, to, to do that, um, I teach that one English class each semester. My involvement with the HP grants um, was really twofold. One was to provide training for faculty and students in the uh, 2006 grant. Um, and the second was um, actually my teaching. Although both grants focused on STEM courses, I also used them in my 20th and 21st century literature class um, for the two years of the 2007 grant. Uh, the use in an English class is uh, maybe not as obvious as the STEM classes, uh, but we did make good use of the tablets. I especially like grading papers with digital ink. I find that it's much faster than using track changes and um, uh, things like insert comment, uh, those features. Uh, and grading something such as a student's website is very tedious without digital ink. Um, most importantly, though, the students use the tablets to peer review um, the literary analysis papers. Uh, the course is writing intensive, so one of my learning objectives is for them to write a well-crafted literary analysis paper. Um, another goal is for them to understand the relationships of various characters in the literature. Um, so they might um, draw through lines and cross lines for drama or maybe a concept map to help them understand a dominant theme in a novel. Fascinating. In the video, you mentioned the technology, uh, that this technology helps your students retain authorship over their work. Could you tell us more about that? Sure. Um, this is probably one of the things that's been a big pet peeve of mine since um, 1998 when I was teaching in the, the first uh, laptop English class. At that time, I was teaching an English uh, 101 class, and it was all engineering and science students, and everybody had, um, ta uh, had regular laptops, so we didn't have the possibility of ink back then. Um, but what I found was that when students were doing their peer reviews, um, that they would um, use the track changes and insert comments, uh, but the poorer students often assumed that someone else, their reviewer, was a better writer than they were, and rather than reading a suggested change, considering it, pondering it, playing with some different ways of making the sentence or the paragraph better, they would simply accept changes and call the paper revised. Uh, what I wanted them to do was to retain authorship of their own paper, not give it away to another student who probably um, didn't truly understand what the author was trying to say. So with digital ink um, reviewers, the, the students um, are able to um, at least make the changes themselves. And we talk about the importance of making conscious decisions about what to change and understanding why. So that, so that, and, and I also have more than one student um, give them that feedback in ink. And oftentimes they'll get, you know, different responses from different people. So um, they're really spending more time on revision than they have in the past. The, the good students, I don't see that much difference, but the poorer students, I do. Awesome. You were involved in the creation of an experimental classroom called the Sandbox, which I believe we have pictured here. 
Can you tell us about the experimental classroom and how tablets were integrated into its design? Yes, um, this is probably um, the, the most fun that a lot of us have had in um, working together. But we have a, a group at Clemson, uh, it's a group of faculty, IT staff, and students, both undergraduate and graduate. Um, we call ourselves the Teaching with Technology Community. Uh, the group actually started meeting once a week for an hour almost seven years ago, and it's grown from four people to more than 80, representing about 30 disciplines. Uh, each year, this group decides to focus on some new technology or a specific project. Um, so a couple of years ago, we decided that we wanted to design and implement an experimental classroom. The goal was to build in as much flexibility as possible so we could um, plug and play new technology into the room and not have to go seek additional funding or be told that there wasn't enough power in that room or any of the number of, of problems that we've run into in the past. We wanted to be able to um, change the furniture, uh, reconfigure the space um, so that we could try um, different ways of placing people in the room, uh, lots of things like that. Um, one of the members of the group, Beth Steffen in General Engineering, told us about their plans to renovate the old YMCA swimming pool that opened in 1918. And um, we were absolutely thrilled to be able to collaborate with the General Engineering um, Department uh, or program to design um, this space. Um, one, of the, one part of the plan we had was to allow faculty from any discipline to teach in the space uh, but we wanted those people to have some teaching with technology research that they were um, going to um, implement in the classroom. And we wanted them to be willing to collaborate with the community, with not just the teaching with technology community, but the entire university community, so that we could all learn and, and um, uh, get better together. And um, so when we applied for the HP grant, um, it made perfect sense to integrate the sandbox classroom into that proposal. Um, the three projectors Marilyn already mentioned and the ability to display students' work from their tables on one, two, or all three of the display services um, was going to be a, an advantage that we could see right away. Um, and faculty in other disciplines also use the tablets, chemistry, nursing, and of course my literature class. Awesome. I just love this picture of the uh, old swimming pool and uh, what the space has become now and just how very exciting uh, to see how an old space could be repurposed. So thanks, Barbara. I think we should take another.